Hi, let's see like how to fix the G force now error code 0x 00 00 F8. Are you getting the error code? This kind of error code on the G force now. G force now is a cloud gaming service that allows gamers to play their favorite games on any device with an internet connection. However, Users may encounter errors while using the service such as GeForce Now error code. The full error it says something like there was a problem starting your session. Try again with the error code 0x00001 F8. This error can be frustrating and prevent the gamers from accessing their games. In this particular video we will take a close look at what causes this particular error. And we'll see like how to fix this particular error so that you can get back to gaming as quick as possible. Let's understand what causes the GeForce Now with the error code 0x00001 F8. GeForce Now error code can be caused by the variety of the different issues, including the problems with your internet connection, issues with your graphic card or the driver problems with your GeForce Now account or the issues with the game you are trying to play. The first cause is network connectivity problem. Error code may occur. This kind of error code may occur if there is a network connectivity problems. This may be caused by a weak or unstable internet connection or the problems with your router or the model. The second cause is problem with the GeForce Now server. Sometimes the error code may occur due to the problem with the GeForce Now server. This could be because of the maintenance or the technical problem that prevent the users from accessing their service. Third cause is other software conflicts. The other code, this kind of error code can also occur in case of conflicts with the other software installed system, such as other game software or the apps. GeForce Now is an absolute software. If you are using an obsolete version of the GeForce Now, you may come across the error code. In this case, updating any software, updating the software may solve the particular issue. The fifth cause is firewall or the antivirus software blocking the connection. If you have a firewall or the antivirus soft software installed on your computer, it may be blocking the connection to the GeForce Now, causing the error code. Let's see like how to fix the GeForce now error code 0x00001 if it the first method is look at your internet connection the first thing you should do is like check your internet connection make sure like you have a very good internet speed with a very good bandwidth if you feel that your internet connection is slow try to reset or switch off and switch on your modem or the router also make sure to check that your cables are connected the cables are connected to the modem or the router or if there is any kind of loose connection okay so if it, if there is any kind of loose connection then try to fix it if your internet connection is unstable router reset your router or a modem and connect it back to the network okay so if this is not the case contact your internet service provider to solve the particular problem of the issue okay and the second method is update your graphic cards. Another common cause of this particular error is outdated or the corrupted graphic card drivers. To fix this issue, you need to update your graphic cards driver to the latest version. In order to update your graphic cards to the latest version, identify your graphic card model. To find out the model of your graphic card, you can use the system information like DirectX diagnostic tool. Press the Windows key plus R then type DX Diag in the run dialog box. So let's show you. So here you can type DX Diag. Okay. And then press enter and click on the display tab to see the name of your graphic cards. Download the latest driver, go to the website of your graphic cards manufacturer and navigate to the downloads or the support section. Search for the latest driver of your graphic card model and can download it. Uninstall the old driver. 
open the device manager by pressing the windows key plus x then select the device manager from the menu expand the display adapters category right click on the graphic card then select uninstall device check the box that says delete the driver software for this device and then click uninstall install the new driver double click on the downloaded driver file and then follow the instructions on the screen to install the new driver some driver installation programs may require a system start restart so save any unsaved work before installing the driver verify the driver installation once the installation is complete go back to the driver device manager and check correct driver is installed on your graphic cards you can also open the graphic card control panel to verify the driver version and the third method is verify your geforce now account if you are encountering this issue you should verify your geforce now account to ensure there is no issue with your account okay so in order to verify your account follow the steps login to a geforce now go to this particular website click on login on the top right corner and enter your username and the password okay so go here you can enter your username and the password okay so access the verification page once you're logged in click on the profile picture on the top right corner and then select account from the drop down menu on the account page and then click verify button next to your email address enter your phone number once on the verification page select your country code from the drop down menu and then enter your phone number make sure to enter the valid phone number that you have to receive the verification code after you enter your phone number you will receive a verification code via sms enter the code in the provided field on the verification page submit verification page once the once you have entered the verification code click on the submit button to complete the verification process email address will now be verified and you will have access to the features of your geforce now account verifying your account is important to ensure the security of your account to access all the features of the geforce now including the game streaming and cloud gaming the fourth method is make sure that your subscription is active to do this log into a geforce now account and make sure that your subscription is active there will be no billing issues that could be preventing you from accessing the device service fifth method is try different server but sometimes the record may be caused by the problems with the server you are connecting to it try connecting to a different server to see if the issue persists some of the steps to connect to a different server open geforce experience software on your computer click on the settings icon on the top right corner of the window select the general tab scroll down to the network section and then click on the server drop down menu choose the server location you want to connect to from the list of the available option once you have selected the desired driver click on the save button at the bottom of the window geforce experience geforce experience will now connect to the new server location okay and the next method is turn off antivirus vpn or the firewall temporarily turn off your vpn antivirus or the firewall and then restart the application steps to disable the firewall on the windows click on the start button and then type windows different firewall in search bar click on the windows different firewall with advanced security click on the windows different fire firewall properties in the right hand pane under the domain profile tab select off under firewall state section repeat the step 4 for the private profile and public profile tabs click on ok to save the changes steps to disable the firewall on the mac os click on the apple menu in the top left corner of the screen click system preferences click security and privacy click on firewall tab click on the lock icon to make changes click on turn off firewall in order to disable the antivirus steps may vary depending on the antivirus you are using locate the antivirus software icon in system or tray or the taskbar right click on the icon to open that context menu look for the option that says disable pause or turn off select the option that and follow the prompts to disable the antivirus software to re-enable it simply repeat the steps and select the option to enable or turn off turn on the antivirus software 
Steps to disable the VPN. Steps may vary depending on the VPN you're using. Locate the VPN soft software icon in the system tray. The taskbar. Right click on the icon to open the context menu. Look for an option that says disconnect or the turn off. Select the option to disconnect or the turn off the VPN. To re enable it, simply repeat the steps and select the options to connect or turn on the VPN. The next method is disable overlocking. If you have overlocked your graphic card or the processor, this could be a cause an error. Disable any overlocking setting, settings in your BIOS or the graphic card software and then connect. Try connecting to GeForce Now again. If you overlock your graphic card using NVIDIA GeForce Experience software and want to turn off the overclock, follow the sum of the steps. Open the GeForce Experience software on your computer. Click on the settings icon in the top right corner of the window. Select the Games tab under the Game section. Click on Global Settings button. Scroll down to the performance section and then find overlocking option. Turn the overlocking toggle to disable the overlocking. Click the play button at the bottom of the window to save the changes. Once you disable the overlocking, your graphic card will turn to its de default clock speed. Eighth method is clear your browser caches. If you are using the GeForce Now website to access the service, removing the caches from your browser can help you to fix this particular error. To do this, go to your browser settings, browser setting, and then clear the caches and the cookies. Then try accessing the GeForce Now again. Contact the GeForce team or the support team if any of the solutions didn't work for you. You can contact the GeForce Now support team for the more help. The ninth method is contact the GeForce support team if any of the other solutions or the other troubleshooting methods did not work for you. You can contact the GeForce Now support team for more help. To contact the GU4 support team, you can visit this particular website nvidia.com slash en hyphen us slash support. Okay, so that's all about this. Thank you.